let us solve one more problem. Prove that cos hx minus sin hx all to the power of n equals to cos h of nx minus sin h of nx. First left hand side we have to simplify, the right hand sides we have to simplify. Then we need to prove that LHS is equal to RHS using the hyperbolic identities sin hx and cos hx only. So, this is the strategy has to be followed to crack this problem. So, first let us solve this problem now. So, first consider LHS, here LHS equals to cos HX minus sin HX all to the power of n. So, let us replace the cos HX value. So, that is nothing but e power x plus e power minus x by 2 minus e power x minus e power minus x by 2 raised to n. Am I correct? So, let it be simplified. 2 is the LCM, we get e power x plus e power minus x minus e power x minus into minus plus e power minus x all to the power of n or raise it to n. This step is very important. So, minus into minus plus. So, now these two terms will be gets cancelled. We have e power minus x plus e power minus x 2 e power minus x upon 2 raise it to n. 2 to gets cancelled we have e power minus x raised to n. Using theory of indices, this can be written e power minus n x. So, this is the left hand side. So, let us consider now right hand side. So, that is cos h of n x minus sin h of n x. The cos h of n x we can write using this formula instead of x just replace n x that is all. Here n x, n x we get n x, n x that is all. So, now this cos n h of n x can be written e power n x plus e power minus n x by 2. So, you might be observing in the cos h x formula x is being replaced by n x. In the similar fashion, if you replace in sin h x formula x for n x, we get sin h of n x value. So, minus e power n x minus e power minus n x upon 2. Let us do the simplification. So, now 2 is the LCM e power n x plus e power minus n x minus e power n x. So, minus into minus this very important step plus e power minus n x e power n x e power n x gets cancelled. We have 2 into e power minus n x by 2, 2 2 gets cancelled. We have e power minus n x. See now what do you observe? This LHS equals to e power minus n x, this RHS equal to e power minus n x. So, therefore, we conclude that LHS is equal to RHS. Hence, it is proved.